Hi guys and welcome back to another video of Victory with Sheldon and Leah. It's just me here today. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out for Sheldon to be a part of this video this week, but he'll be back next week. Today, I'm going to be talking about the topic of not giving up. I think this topic is very relevant to the time of year it is. You know, it's March. We all made our New Year's resolutions in December. We were all excited and pumped. We were going to change our lives. And as time kind of went on, maybe you didn't see the results you were wanting. Maybe your excitement's kind of starting to fizzle out. Maybe that diet is just really getting on your nerves because you really want to eat all those cupcakes. So I'm here today just to encourage you to not give up. I have a really fun story I'll be sharing with you all from this book, Three Feet from Gold. This is a fantastic read. I have not personally finished the whole thing yet, which I need to. It was actually on our group's book list last month. But anyways, fantastic book. The story I'm going to be sharing with you is just a small snippet from the beginning, so there's lots more golden nuggets for you to read in the rest of this book. I will leave the details in the description below, so make sure to get a copy of this book. It will bring lots of value to you. So the whole point of the story I'm about to share with you is to never give up because you might just be three feet from gold. All right, so jumping right in, the story today is about a man named Darby. He had an uncle who was struck with gold fever and he was determined to go to California and to strike gold. So he set out and actually he found some. Uh, very exciting, he took the piece of ore back to a smelter and they told him that it was great quality gold. So he went back to the piece of land where he found the ore, he covered everything up so no one else would find it. He went home and he started asking his friends and family for money. He was gonna buy equipment so he could go back out there and strike it rich. So when he returned, he brought his nephew, Darby, who the story is about, and they started mining the gold. They found a great pocket and they were so excited. But unfortunately, they ran out. The gold disappeared. What they thought was gonna be a huge discovery was just a small amount of gold. So when this happened, they got super discouraged. They went out there to find gold, and unfortunately, it ran out. So what they did while they were in the valley, they decided to just give it all up. They went to a junk man, they sold all their equipment, they sold the piece of land, and they went home. Now, luckily for the junk man, he was actually a man who was very passionate about mining, and he was always just waiting for the right opportunity to come along. So the junk man was very well versed in mining. He had been researching it, he knew all about it, and he even had the bright idea to bring an expert along with him. So the expert assessed the land, and he told the junk man that if he just dug three feet away from where Darby and his uncle were digging, that he would most likely find more gold. Now the way that gold works, there's normally a big amount of it, and there will be veins that shoot off from it with smaller deposits of gold. Now, unfortunately for Darby and his uncle, they only came across that smaller amount of gold. And because they were just there for the gold and they didn't really know how mining worked, they thought that it was just, it was just over. They didn't realize that if they had just followed that little vein, that they were going to hit the big score. So that's exactly what the junk man did. He hit one of the biggest scores of gold ever discovered and he made millions. Now, naturally, when Darby and his uncle discovered what happened, they were crushed. Now, a lot of people at this point would just figure their life was a failure. They would never let go of that. They would just be in disappointment their whole life, tell their grandchildren, oh, I almost made it rich, but I didn't, and just be stuck in their own misery. But Darby, he had a different idea. He applied the lesson he learned from his mining experience into his work in the life insurance industry, and he became very successful. His success came from his persistence of never giving up because you could just be three feet from gold. Man, what a powerful story. Now comment below what your thoughts of the story was and if you'd like to hear more stories like this. There's a lot of very valuable points to the story. First and foremost, never give up. Second, don't be blinded by the results. You need to really focus on what you're doing and master that and don't make decisions when you're in the valley. 
sometimes when you're in a valley, when you're feeling discouraged, it's easy to just give up. But if Darby and his uncle would have taken the time to maybe stop, reassess, maybe bring an expert in and really figure out how to be successful at what they're doing, they could have hit that jackpot. So with that, sometimes you need to stop and you need to make a new plan. If Darby and his uncle were just to keep digging in that same spot, they would have never found it. So maybe what you're doing isn't working. It's not getting you the results that you want. So you need to figure out what is going to work. I think another great example of this can be brought back to our weight loss example. So say that you're doing a fantastic job dieting all day long and each day you reward yourself with a bowl of ice cream in the evening. Now, that is probably one of the worst things that you could do because eating ice cream in the evening, eating anything fattening, anything sugary, that is going to be the hardest time of the day to lose that weight. And so that just is a plan that doesn't work. So you need to stop, you need to reassess, hey, what am I doing wrong? And make a new plan. Now, we do keep on bringing up the weight loss thing because being healthy is super important. If you wanna be successful at anything, you need to make sure that you are taken care of so that you can do everything that you are wanting to do. So if you are having a hard time trying to figure out like, what do I need to do to be healthy? I have actually created a really fun four step guide on four easy steps to start living a healthier lifestyle. I will leave that in the description. It is a free downloadable guide and I am just very excited to share it with you. After you're finished watching this video, be sure to go in the description below, hit the link and download your guide. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon so you're notified when we upload, and like this video if you found value. As always, I'll see you in our next video, and remember, you too can live in victory.